All right, welcome back in. BGSU Hockey up three spots in the polls. The Falcons are now number 13 in America. They're coming off two huge wins last weekend against Notre Dame. Falcons home with Alabama Huntsville tonight in front of another great crowd in BG. They actually fall behind 3-0. Eight minutes left, second period. They start the comeback. Will Cullen roofs it. It's a 3-1 game. And then a little bit later, BG with another chance. This time it's Alex Barber flicking it past the goaltender. Falcons snatching back the momentum, and they would just roll from there. Still in the second, Connor Ford works it down low. It's Barber again. He would slip that home. That would tie it at three, and BG just kept coming. In the third, the onslaught would continue. Brandon Cruz, right circle, a laser. BG scored nine unanswered goals in 23 minutes. They win it nine to three. That was a strange game, one that we've we've not seen here in a while and to your credit you, you battled and you hung in there we were able to fortunately learn a lesson in winning versus learning a lesson in a, in a tough loss so that was that's the positive side probably one of the strangest games it's not often that you drop three goals quick and then you end up winning by six and so yeah it was strange Walleye home tonight with Brampton Red Wings prospect Philip Larson in goal. First period of this one, scoreless game. Watch this pass from Shane Burst back to Josh Kessner. Threads the needle and Kessner would finish from there. Snips it top shelf. It's 1-0 Fish. Second period, Walleye up 2-1 now. They add to it. Brendan Kotick, right circle, uncorks an absolute blast. That's a rocket. Toledo takes a 3-1 lead, and then later in the second, they would add another one. This on the power play, it's Kessner again. Huge slapper, finds the back of the net. Walleye win big, 6-2. Now, one high school basketball team we didn't hear from tonight, the Central Catholic Fighting Irish. That's because they are still getting their basketball legs under them. After the football team made another deep playoff run, they are used to this, of course. It happens basically every year, but there are a few key players that play both, including John Zell Norrells and Dominique Cole and Kendall Marshall and Samaj Cross. The Irish will be starting their season next Friday. It's always a challenge making that transition, but they've been here before and they know how to handle it. The, the day after the season ends, you got to get in the gym, get some shots up, you know, start getting the, uh, knocking the football legs out. And it's just, you just have to get used to it. We did it last year, so we're kind of used to it. We know what it takes to get it done. Well, the program's kind of used to this. Um, you know, we were able to push some games back. So it gives us some time to actually practice and, and get these guys uh, in kind of some basketball shape as much as we can. Um, but we're just ecstatic to have them back. Tomorrow afternoon in Canton, the Clyde Flyers will try to complete one of the more remarkable runs in Ohio football history. They will play for a state championship at 3 o'clock. This comes after they barely made it into the postseason because of a 6-4 and four regular season. Their head coach, Ryan Carter, was on that 94 state runner-up team. He's been able to share some of his experiences with that team as they prepare for the biggest football game of their lives. One of the biggest uh, things that I told them this week is try to enjoy it. it. There's a lot that goes into it, but you gotta you gotta try to have fun with it. Uh, there's a game at the end of the end of the road that you have to get yourself ready for, but uh, you gotta enjoy the process because it doesn't happen that often. Just act like it's another game. It's just don't act like it's the state championship. You guys can't get overwhelmed with everything that's going to be thrown at you. All right, we're taking another break, but when we come back, we are getting set for tomorrow night's Big Ten Championship game. The Buckeyes have arrived in Indianapolis. We will hear from Ohio State straight ahead when we return on Big Board Friday.